What's up guys, Austin here, back with another video. And today we're gonna be talking about a topic that I've been getting a lot of requests about. And that is the best way on how to improve your 2000 meter row. Now for those of you who just row for fitness and you're not really familiar with the rowing world, the big race, the one that you see in the Olympics for the most part is the 2000 meter row. So that is the sprint distance. That is for the most part what rowers at the competitive level train for. And so whether you're doing it in a boat or here on the machine, rowers are always trying to maximize their performance on the 2000 meter row. And it's an interesting distance because it is not necessarily as long as like a marathon or a super long distance, you know, endurance endeavor, but it's also not a super short sprint. It's kind of in that, that middle in between those two which in turn makes it a very, we'll just call it uncomfortable feeling while performing the 2000 meter. Scratch that, let's face it, it's one of the hardest things you can do, the mental and physical battle you have in a 2000 is tough stuff. So how do we improve that? What's the best way to improve our performance in that? And honestly, when it comes down to it, I think what a lot of us do and this isn't bashing anybody I use I mean I'm kind of the same way where we're looking for that one magical workout we're looking for the perfect you know duration how many intervals what split should I be pulling for this that's gonna get me the best 2000 meter and having that mentality when we do that that sort of shifts our mindset away from what is actually gonna help us improve and that is putting in the miles, putting in the work. I want you to take a moment to think about a moment in your life where you felt the most accomplished, the most proud of something that you did, that you achieved. Now, when we think about how you got to that point, did it just happen without you doing anything? Of course not. The best things in life, the best accomplishments come from hard work, dedication, and commitment to getting better, to getting to that end goal. Guys, that's the same thing when it comes down to performing at it for a 2000 meter row. We have to put in the work. We have to put in the meters day in and day out to get to that point. You know, if you think about the rowers and the national teams that are competing at the highest level, those guys are putting in, you know, 30,000 meters, 30 K a day, easy, like easy every day how many meters are you putting in think about that are you putting in 30,000 a day now obviously that's not 30,000 meters of your hardest craziest effort you know that's broken down into different workouts some may be lower intensity some may be higher intensity but that volume is still there those hours and hours of dedication to honing your craft whether it's on this machine or in a boat those guys are putting in the work and that is why they perform at the highest level. That's why those guys hold the world records and the, the fastest possible performance speeds when rowing. It's because they're putting in the work to make that happen. Now, we don't need to train at an Olympic level to improve our 2000 meter row, but it's just this idea that can we put in more work? And I, I think about this about myself all the time back when I was rowing in college. It's like, yeah, I could have put in more. I could have gotten better and you know whatever the excuse might be we're humans we, we tend to make excuses for things and we shy away from doing extra putting in that extra mile the extra 10,000 meters a day and being able to push past that and you know buckle down saw wood do the grind put in the work that is gonna get you to perform at a higher level improve your 2,000 meter more than doing one special magical workout every once in a while. So guys, when it comes down to improving your rowing performance, getting the most out of a 2000 meter row, you need to ask yourself right now, how much work are you putting in? How much volume are you putting in on a daily basis? Can you do more? Now there's lots of different workouts you should be doing, lots of different variations of high intensity and low intensity, but again, that's not the point. Put in the work because in the end, like I said in my last video, miles make champions. They do. So put in the meters. 
So this might not have been the video you were expecting on how to improve your 2,000 meter performance, but I hope it gave you some insight to you know, the potential that you can have. It's all about doing some self-reflection. Ask yourself, how much, how much work are you putting in and are you willing to put in more? If you can put in a little bit more each day, that adds up to a whole lot more over the course of months, over the course of years. And that is how you truly improve your performance. That is truly how you make the best athlete out of yourself. So guys, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave it a like. Let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. Remember, miles make champions. Put in the work if you really want to perform. Thanks guys, I'll see you next video.